<laughs> okay, I should probably head out to the valley so that I can finish off this review. I'm just having fun playing around. This wing was quite a surprise and earned its place as my favorite bee paraglider at the Stubai Cup. You'll find out why in this review. Hey, we've got the Nova Ion 7 Lite. So this is the low B, the one up from the Aeonic. Uh, the idea is this for a pilot that's progressing, maybe a super talented student coming out of the school, or for pilots that just want a nice fun glider that you can fly around, still do cross country, but lots of passive safety. So let's have a look. We've got a very similar riser setup to the Aeonic. Let's see slim webbing. Uh, you've got A, split A's, the big ears. B riser C and little magnetic brake keepers. Fairly slender line set, all sheathed lines going up to the glider. And here on the leading edge, you can see it's quite different to the Aeonic. Lots of cells, different reinforcing here and these little tapes, which make a sort of a half cell to keep this leading edge area really taut. And uh, that looks like much more performance in the design already. So let's see what it's like in the air. I own seven in the light version. Again, looks like quite a small wing compared to the other wings I've been flying, just because it's so compact. So I'm getting a slightly smoother feeling than on the Aeonic. I'm not getting that kind of uh, shaken around feeling on roll. This feels a little bit smoother. Gliding along here at trim speed and I'm looking at about A 30, 35, 36. Let's go under half bar, under full bar. And that's as much bar as I can get without taking the pulleys and pulling them out. So now I've got 53. So you need to have a setup on your harness that you can get the full travel. I mean, I'm going from there, but I'm locking out on my harness. So it might be nice to have a, a ball gearing system in this riser. There's such a long travel. But that's a good increase in speed uh, for a low B. That's very good. And uh, you could see, I mean, I can hold on to the pulleys while I'm doing that. <laughs> Uh, glide is solid, no worries about it sort of pitching or rolling. It's very steady. Now the glider feels like on rails, even, even though I'm in this kind of bumpy stuff. Quite a good exit from the turn, I feel. Like I'm not having to manage the energy on the turn exit. So these sort of conditions, I would say, Oh, they sporty. They're not scary, but they're certainly fairly broken. Like that. But the glider is very, very sedate through that. Very calm. I'm getting feeling like little movements in the brakes that I can feel the glider. But equally, I don't feel like uh, any input that I'm doing is not having much effect. It's actually I think less than the Ionic in that first part of the brake travel. I feel like I need to come down a fair amount. Like it's not really listening to me in this bit. And then if I'm hanging on, yay, round we go. It's also fairly calm uh, with the weight shift. It's not really changing much as I'm leaning in or level. It's not making a huge difference. 
you have to be fairly positive on the brakes on this glider. Give it a clear instruction. It's not about finesse, it's about steering it and giving it a control. Fairly lively air. I feel like I'm not having to manage the pitch at all. You might be looking for the perfect wing, and this might be it. But if you build your piloting skills, you can climb out every time. I can show you how to do it. Take a free trial in my online academy and get stuck into some world-class video training that will take you to the next level. I don't feel like I need to come around quicker than this. This is very efficient. It's still got that sports car feeling of the ION, which is to do with the aspect ratio. You know, it's uh, quick, uh, short lines, this quick little pitch, and it's like, definitely like a go-kart, like race around. You've got the same kind of uh, back riser splits, doesn't have a bridge system really, but you can definitely uh, hold on to the back risers comfortably on glide, um, especially if you accelerated. Let's say I'm on a little bit of bar now. I can keep contact here safely on the back risers, just for those little steering inputs, little control contact, but you don't really need it. You can just glide hands up, just let it go. Right, so we're gonna do big ears. Very easy, very balanced. Nice, big section of big ears. Easy to control the direction. And if you let them go, they stay there. A little flick and out they come. Fantastic. Asymmetric. I pull it in and I'm back on direction. Still going straight down the valley. So super simple on that. Now here I can feel uh, not as much pressure as the Aeonic and you still have to go pretty deep, pretty deep. I'm still holding it right down here. This is... Uh, you're not going to stall this by mistake. <laughs> Returning. Return too hard. Yeah, we're just going into a little bit of a spiral turn. It's not going to catch you by surprise. On the pitch, it's slightly more freedom of pitch than the Aeonic, but it's going to that same easy point where it's just dampening it out, not going too far. Really nice. You don't have to stress about the glider, you can just fly. Think about your landing setup, who's in the air, the glider will sort itself out. Nova Ion 7 Light. Cool, okay, so I'm here with Patrick Sieber. He's Hi. one of the test pilots at Nova. Somehow. Somehow, and he's been involved in the Ion 7 development. He knows all about the Ion 7 light. So I'm um, just going to find out a little bit more information for you guys about how did the wing come to be and why is it the way it is. So um, when I was flying the Ion 7 light, I felt like uh, I could have more aspect ratio. I felt like <laughs> this is really compact, it's really simple and maybe even too easy for a low B. Mm. What, what was your thinking with the, the size and the aspect ratio? Why did you keep it so low? I think um, it doesn't like interfere with the performance or uh, with the capabilities you have with those kind of gliders now. And uh, we were actually able to get to build maybe one of the most versatile wings out there. Because um, as I said, you can use it 
for it's it's high performance actually for a low B. Yeah. It's very fast, and uh, you can go cross country. And uh, you tried the light, you said. Yeah. So you can do hike and fly, and uh, hike and cross country maybe. Uh, but also you can um, you can go for your for first freestyle sessions maybe. So you can do a sat or a helico with the with the Ion Seven. So um, and that's better with a bit less aspect ratio, of course. And still, it works perfectly in in all the areas actually yeah. i understand the, the the wing is designed for somebody that's maybe a talented beginner coming out of school sure or pilots that are wanting to do cross country but wanting really easy really yeah. passive safety yeah my thing the, the strong point that i felt on the wing was complete lack of pitch forward mm -hmm. like in thermals when you're flying around boom you go into the thermal You just kind of hit it straight, and you don't have a feeling of the glider going back, mm -hmm. but you don't have that feeling of the of having to be mm -hmm. active flying. Yeah, is that uh, the true character? Of the It's wing? like yeah, no need, no need for. Actually, yeah, it's quite easy, as you say. I think the, the best part about it is that if you're a beginner and you're going for your first cross-country flights or you go firmling, it doesn't give you like the, a bad feeling. It gives you a good feeling, actually. So you're out there and uh, you feel safe, like from the, the first moment, actually. So that was actually the point we tried to achieve with the glider, of course, yeah. yeah. I felt like the glider had really short lines. I don't know the specifications, but mm -hmm. it feels like compared to other gliders I'm used to, it has a very really short line feel, which gives you maybe quite quick pitch mm -hmm. motion mm -hmm. um, when the pitch does happen and quick to roll, mm -hmm. like if you put the input in. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think maybe with longer lines it would be more calm? Is there a reason mm -hmm. to have such short lines as you said i i think it's a calm glider it's not like nervous or something it's actually calm it yes. gives you a, a good feeling you feel secure and um if you watch the the, the other gliders of of the of the nova how to say of the nova range um some of them have shorter lines yeah and we had good experience with that for example if you go for a hike and fly and you have a tighter takeoff you can you can do that with the ion 7 light for example yeah. and um it's it's way easier to handle so uh for beginners it's actually perfect to have a wing like that yeah, yeah. yeah. more compact and simple it's a bit more compact yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. And tell me a little bit about the speed, because uh, I was quite surprised when I pushed up the speed bar uh, for a low B. Uh, I'm used to maybe getting seven or eight kilometers an hour on the low B. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. What's with that? How come? Uh, yeah. you, how do you get so much more speed out of the, the low B? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, we were doing uh, comparison flights, and uh, we were actually. Not surprised, but happy that we achieved that. Yeah, it's, I don't want to say it's the fastest, but it's one of the fastest wings uh, in its category. Yeah. Yeah. And we're really happy about that to, to build a fast glider which is very safe so yeah and uh, as, as, because you ask you can for example with the shorter lines and the, the whole setup yeah the whole thing works yeah so it's fast safe you have an agile glider which climbs well which performs well i'm really happy about it i go i, I i'm looking forward to get mine actually yeah uh, <laughs> yeah for a simple hack and fly and just get on the mountain yeah and do That's maybe fun. some maneuvers or go for a, a small cross country and still have a light and versatile wing yeah, yeah, yeah. super okay well I, i think it's very impressive for, <laughs> for that class it's uh, you've done a really good job so thanks for letting me fly it and i uh, wish you all success here yeah thanks and for I look forward to seeing what's coming out new from nova yeah 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 thanks for being here yeah. i mean it's great to have you here <laughs> <laughs> couldn't be in a better place no the sun so, is shining it's yeah. flying so come to dubai cup next year guys yeah. it's <laughs> amazing there's gliders everywhere there's gliders in the sky It's always like this, isn't it? The sun's always shining. Actually, we're always very lucky with the weather. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. Cool, cool Thank for you. having you. Thanks. Okay. Cheers. Hey, thanks for spending time with me here on YouTube. I made a whole playlist from the Stubai Cup for you to enjoy next. If you'd like to begin your video training today and would like your questions answered, join my friends and I over on flywithgreg.com.